Hello, welcome to my channel. I have a nice paper here uh, that is a junior school assessment test for grade 8. That is year 2024. And this is integrated science grade 8. So I'm going to solve it so that uh, I can help you to prepare for the coming examinations. Okay, so I'm going to read the questions then give the answers to the particular questions. The first question, learners were told to search on careers related to integrated science. Write down four careers they got. Now, careers related to integrated science, there are very many. So we can just highlight a few. We have careers like uh, nursing. We have teaching because integrated science is a, uh, is a career subject. You can have engineering. You can be a scientist. You can be, you can do any career related to medicine. Among other careers that you can think of as long as they are related to the knowledge and skills gained in, the, in integrated science. Let's go to question two. Write down three components of integrated science. The components of integrated science. We have the one which is um, can have biology. There are three. The second one is uh, chemistry. And the last one is physics. So th those are the three components of integrated science. Question three. Grade seven learners visited a laboratory and observed several apparatus. Name four apparatus they observed. There are many apparatus in the laboratory, so it depends on which ones you like to list. For me, I can list something like um, ammeters. We have voltmeters. We can have bulbs, cells. Can have bulb of bulb holders. Can have beakers, volumetric flasks, and any of the apparatus that you can mention. Question four. Write down four basics, uh, basic units used for measuring, uh, for measurement in science, and state their SI unit. Basic, uh, basic units. They are just asking you to list the basic quantities. Okay. This one you can talk of time, SI unit is seconds. You can talk of length, SI unit is meters. You can talk of uh, temperature. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. You can talk of amount of substance. The SI unit of amount of substance is a mole and many others. Okay, so you can think of that. Question 5 State three states of matter. This one is uh, just easy. The states of matter we have the solids, liquids, and gases. So those are the three states of matter. Let's continue to question six. Write down two derived quantities. Derived quantity. A derived quantity is a quantity that is obtained from physical quantities. And this one can be, can talk of area, can talk of density, among others. Okay? So those are examples of derived quantities. Question 7. Name four parts of digestive system in which digestion of food takes place. Digestion occurs in the mouth. We have the stomach. We have the ileum or in other words can call it the small intestines. <coughs> The small intestines. We can also have the duodenum. Duodenum. Digestion occurs in those 
but the mouth, stomach, small intestines, and the duodenum. Okay, let's go to question 8. Name four methods of separating mixtures. There is use of magnets. We can talk of distillation. We can talk of paper chromatography. We can talk of crystallization. Among others, okay? Yes, you can talk of filtration. You can talk of decanding. Any of the methods that you can think of, as long as they are methods of separating mixtures. Let's go to question 9. You are being told to write down two classifications in which mixtures are classified. So mixtures are either called homogeneous mixtures or they can be called heterogeneous mixtures. So either homogeneous mixtures or heterogeneous mixtures. So those are the two classifications of mixtures. Let's go to question 10. The diagram below shows changes of states of matter. Name the processes marked. We are given here. Marked A. Why is the process marked A? Now for this case, our diagram is not having a process marked A. I will see where to fix it. Let's go to the second one. Process marked B. Yes, B is there. B comes from solid to liquid. Solid to liquid, there is one. That one is melting. The process is melting. Okay. Uh, C, process marked C is this one. It comes from uh, liquid to gas. That is evaporation. Evaporation. D. Process marked D is here. That is from liquid to solid. Liquid to solid. The process is freezing. Then we have E. E moves from gas to liquid. That is condensation. Then F. F moves from uh, that is, um, where is F? F I think is this one. The letter moved upward, so it is somewhere here. F moves from gas to solid directly. That one is called deposition. Deposition, okay? Then A, let A be this one. I think this was supposed to be A. Solid to gas. Solid to gas, that one is sublimation sublimation so those are the names of the processes that are being represented by uh, the diagram that has been given to us here okay thank you for watching remember to subscribe and let's meet in my next video